Joshua chapter 1. Last week we shared a message from the uh, first nine verses of this chapter. And now we want to share a message today from the final verses of this chapter, beginning in verse number 10. So if you'll turn with us to Joshua chapter 1. Verse number 10. You found it? Say amen. Amen. All right. Amen. Then Joshua commanded the officers of the people, saying, Pass through the host and command the people, saying, Prepare you victuals, for within three days you shall pass over this Jordan and go in to possess the land which the Lord your God giveth you to possess it. And to the Reubenites and to the Gadites and to the half-tribe of Manasseh spoke Joshua, saying, Remember the word which Moses, the servant of the Lord, commanded you, saying, The Lord your God has given you rest and has given you this land. Your wives, your little ones, and your cattle shall remain in the land which Moses gave you on this side of Jordan. But you shall pass before your brethren armed, all the mighty men of valor, and help them until the Lord has given your brethren rest as he has given you. And they also have possessed the land which the Lord your God giveth them. Then you shall return to the land of your possession and enjoy it, which Moses, the Lord's servant, gave you on this side, Jordan, for the sun rising. And they answered Joshua, saying, All that thou commanded us, we will do. And wherever you send us, we will go. According as we've hearkened unto Moses and all things, so will we hearken unto you. Only the Lord your God be with you as he was with Moses. Whosoever he be that does rebel against your commandments, will not hearken unto your words and all that you commanded him. He shall be put to death. Only be strong and of a good courage. I want to share with you today a message that I've titled A Promise Made, A Promise Kept. A Promise Made, A Promise Kept. 